Welcome to Powerland Chapel International, where power beyond the sky will set you free. With your host, Bishop Kingsley Joshua Akodu Bomfu. Experience a destiny changing encounter, life changing word, true healing of human hurts, tangible testimonies, and total restoration. And now, here is Bishop with today's word. Acts chapter 27. If you gather, say amen. amen. We're reading from verse number 14. And today I'm speaking on the subject, just one subject, Lord, speak to my storms. Lord, speak to my storms. But not long after there arose against it a tempter's wind called Euroclidon, and when the ship was caught and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. And running under a certain island, which is called Cloda, we had much work to come by the boat, which when they had taken up, they used helps under guarding the ship, fearing lest they should fall into the quicksands, drake sail, and so were driven. And we being exceedingly tossed with the tempest, the next day they lightened the ship. And the third day we cast out with our own hands the tackling of the ship. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. But after long abstinence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from Crete, and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this afternoon. We ask that your word will touch us, challenge us, and change our lives. Let everybody be happy today. Solve problems and let everybody collect a miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Let's define storm. A storm is a violent disturbance of the atmosphere, a violent disturbance of the atmosphere with strong winds, winds, and usually with rain, thunder, lightning, and snow. Even if everything is going on right for you right now, the storms will still come. Are you hearing me? And when storms come, within split second, everything changes. Everything will be flipped upside down. It may be your job. It may be a member of your family in a serious accident. It may be sickness. It may be a personal storm. Have you sat down to think about what you would do? I want you to ask your neighbor, have you sat down to think about what to do? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, storms will come from nowhere, especially when you feel you are safe. But I don't, I'm not here to scare you. Because I know the storm charmer. Amen. His name is Jesus. Amen. No matter what storm you are going through, no matter what storm you have encountered, if you know his name, and you know who he is, he's capable of taking care of that storm. Amen. In the scripture that we have just read, Bible said that, Paul was on his way to Rome to see Caesar. And the Bible said in the middle of their journey, there was a storm. 
a violent disturbance in the atmosphere. People of God, when you are making progress in life, the enemy does not like it. Whenever something good is happening to you and for you, the enemy orchestrates your atmosphere to change in order to challenge what God is doing in your life. But I want you to understand that God created the elements. He has power over it. No matter what you are going through right now as you are hearing the sound of my voice, that is not the end of your life. It's a challenge. And I know that he that created you will not leave you in the middle of a storm and will not leave you in the hands of the devil because he is God. Call upon me in the day of trouble. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse number 3. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer thee and show the great and mighty things that you don't know. No matter what you are going through, please don't run after men and run after other things, but run after God. Amen. He knows the beginning from the end. Amen. Am I talking to somebody in this house? What storm are you going through? They started of loading the ship, throwing their personal belongings away, because they want the ship to be light. Are you hearing me? But before the storm, somebody knew there will be a storm. His name was Paul. He said, you should have listened to me. You see, whatever will happen to you in life, God gives you a sign. But we are too busy to stand still and hear that still small voice of God. When storms come, it can change your life forever. When storms enter into your marriage, it can blow a perfect marriage away. When storms enter into your church, no matter how dynamic you think, if you don't stand strong, it will scatter everybody. The Bible said, let he that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he falls. Life is not easy. Please, when you climb a ladder and you get to a certain point in life, don't rest and don't think you have arrived. Because the storms of life, you don't need to work, you don't need to invite it. It will come. It will come just like that. To write it down to every problem there is a solution to every question there is an answer when storms comes into your life the circumstances will seem too much for you to handle order will give way to chaos the perfect becomes imperfect the established collapses when storms come into your life, it didn't come to your life to repair you. It came into your life to destroy you. To destroy what you have. That is why we have people who are paid to study the weather. What do you call them? Meteorological department. That's where they work. Years ago, a news reader or a weather forecaster told the whole nation that the next day the weather is going to be so nice and beautiful. And so we were in our shorts and everything. By the time we woke up in the morning, ladies and gentlemen, Hurricane Gilbert. 
had visited the country and blown away everything. Trees that has been planted for years were uprooted. When storms come into your life, what you have toiled to gain, it will uproot it. It is time that we wake up as children of God, as a body of Christ, and stop our fast food Christianity and be able to know the mindset of God so that he can download us with information from heaven so that we can be on our guard for the enemy knows that his time is short I've always told you that the enemy is like a bull in a china shop anything that reflects glory he wants to destroy it people of God it is minus your life minus your marriage minus your business minus your children minus anything that you stand for can I hear believe it amen in the house I came to tell you that the power of God is stronger than any storm that will come into your life. But speak, Master, speak. Because the Bible said that when the disciples were in trouble, when they were traveling with Jesus Christ on the Sea of Galilee, and the Bible said there was a storm, according to the book of Mark. Are you hearing me? The Bible said there was a storm. And they went to Jesus and said, Jesus, don't you care about us? The Bible said he got up from his where he was sleeping and rebuked the wind and the sea and the wind obeyed him. Ladies and gentlemen, God has power over any storm of your life. No matter what you are going through, God has the power to calm that storm. Can I hear believe in amen? amen? Tell your neighbor, God has power. Thank you for tuning in to Power Beyond the Sky. We hope you have been blessed. Do join us every Sunday from 10.30 a.m. and Fridays from 7 p.m. at PLCI, a.k.a. Blessing House, number 9 Raven Road, South Woodford, London, E18 1HB, for a time of vibrant praise, elegant worship, dynamic word, rich fellowship, tangible testimonies, and your life will never be the same again. For more info, please call 0208-504-2083 for further details. God richly bless you.